Alrighty, a gatekeeper here on this beautiful hot Tuesday morning or midday. We got a little fat boy, a one driving two here. Show your apprentice. Show my apprentice. All right, let's make sure it doesn't break the camera here. And there's Miss DB over there. Looking all looking all pretty and everything. All right, Miss DB, meaning she puts she'll she'll put sixty on you with a quickness. Sixty DB. <laughs> you like that, don't you? All right. Anyway, back to what we were saying. We got a fat boy one by two. It came to me as all DEIs. Uh, one twenty two ninety DEI driving two twenty eight seventy nines. And uh, the guy wanted me to uh, tune it up, make sure everything was okay with it, but uh, the driver was blown, and I didn't have any DEI 2290s, so uh, what we went ahead and did is just put all Toshibas back in there. Okay. All right. I don't know if the, uh, the fella did this himself, or the person before him, or a fat boy, I don't know, but somebody had attempted to put a variable... Uh, voltage for the fan and uh, just to come out and say it it it, 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 it was a dead key variable for a radio <laughs> and uh, it didn't work real well at all so what I went ahead and did is uh, went ahead and did a proper variable voltage uh, utilized with the LM317T for the fan there and uh, works like a charm first one I've done too I haven't done one yet I've been wanting to do one, so we're going to show you that and everything, and uh, go ahead and let you see what this puppy's doing here. Go ahead and clean. We cleaned it up for him real good, too. Uh, the top of this case was in real bad condition, man. I mean, what, 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 what people do you see out there to actually clean the person's amp for him? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know it takes a lot more time, but, I mean, the top of this amp was in pretty bad, dirty, dirty condition, oxidized a little bit. If that's the word, I don't know. What's the word for aluminum? Aluminum gets dirty over, is it oxidation? It is, same word for copper? Oxidation, okay. Well anyway, it was pretty bad, so I went ahead and put an SOS pad to that cotton picker. Man, got that thing good and shiny, as you can see. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and let you see what we're gonna be putting in it, which is 20 watts, like we always do with the bench radio here. All righty, right here at 20 watts from 13.8 volts. Okay. Um, the only thing I did do with this is I I noticed there's a little bit of uh there was a little bit of reflect, not much, more like a half a watt of reflect on the input. So what I went ahead and did is took that uh, cap out of there, threw a trimmer, retuned it, put a cap back in, and uh, it was it was it was only it only needed about 20 uh, 20 picofarad added to it, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Other than that, man, um, you know, it, we'll take the top off and go over everything. All right, let's go ahead and flip this bad boy on. All right. Variable voltage for the fan right here, so on full blast. All right, but the only way I can do this is try to put the phone up to it so you can hear how loud the fan is, maybe. But the variable voltage works beautifully. Uh, one, I guess I could have a digital voltmeter hooked up to the fan to let you see it, but it will go all the way down to about 2.3 volts. It will turn the fan off. All right, let me slowly go down and show you this. Right, at that point right there, you can't hear the fan, but it's still spinning, okay? We're turning down more. The fan is still spinning, you can't hear it at all. All right, we'll go down a little bit more. Turns the fan off. Both is all the way down. All right, now watch this, turn it back up. Enough to make it start spinning again. There we go. Alright. Keep turning it up. 
Now that is a true variable voltage regulator for a fan. That is the proper way to do variable voltage for a fan. Okay. And I'm going to show it to you too. It ain't the prettiest looking thing. It didn't have a lot of room for the little heat sink I made for the uh, regulator. But, uh, you know, hey man, it works. That's about all, all I care about at the moment. It works well. All right. Variable all the way down. 20 watts PP, 13.8 volts. About 180 watts. Input tune. Absolutely beautiful. That's another thing I want to say. Some amps do it, some amps don't. Some amps you can get the input tune down to absolutely nothing. I'm talking about not even movement. Some you can, but some you can get down uh, just with a little bit of moving maybe 50 milliwatts but both of them are technically still a one-to-one -one. but uh, this is one I was able to get down to absolutely no movement which is uh, beautiful especially for a one by two especially for a one by two all right let's go ahead and crank this thing up halfway Oh, All right, about 360 watts. Amperage meter. Uh, uh, Let's go ahead and crank it all the way up. 13 and point eight. Four hundred and fifty watts. Four hundred and fifty watts. Output tune. Hundred is a hundred. A hundred is ten watts. Forty is four. Ten watts slow. Look at that thing. Ain't even moving. Oh, the amperage meter. Oh, almost pulling thirty amps. All righty. Go ahead and bump it up to 15 and a half, which kind of would resemble a little bit more. Oh, there goes my mic again. This damn mic's too heavy is what it is, man. I need to put the holder right here on. I need to put the holder right there instead of on the side. All right. 15.3. Good low dead key. It's got about a uh, 50 to 60 watt dead key. All righty. Yo, check, 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 audio, 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 audio. 550 watts. Uh, dead key in about maybe eight to nine amps. Do Do All right, right there at 540. I got it to about 570 right there. So about 550 to 570 on 15.3 volts. I say that's right around with the end of the figures, man. Hit it a little bit harder. You'll have a 600 watt box, which one by twos will do that with a good drive. I did hit it with the hot radio after I got done tuning it out, and it turned the power supply off, um, which is pull, means it's pulling more than 35 amps. And um, I, I got another power supply I just got in that I'm going to be hooking on the bench for a time like that. I could just hook it on up to the 100 amp on a medium tap and show it to you on there and let you see uh, what it's doing with um, a better drive. But, all right. Turn this off, turn that off. Looks like somebody needs to tell me something, but we're almost done. All right, unscrew these. You gotta hurry up. My other half's gotta leave. Oh, me. Looking so good, got my mind sprung, and somebody came over here and got my damn screwdriver. Making a video, Bud Duck. Come on, man. Making a video over here, man. See, that's how you can tell that. I don't, I don't script nothing over here on this cap picking in. Jerry came over here and got one of my screwdrivers while I was uh, 
<laughs> I ain't mad at him, man. He's over there doing some, uh, putting together some cases for me, Free man. Free labor. Free labor, he says, but I always pay for it in the end, I'll tell you that. <laughs> He's over there getting a one pill and a... What you got going on over there, man? Let's zoom in on you real quick. Okay, getting a little four pill. I think that might be a five pill that I'm going to be doing. He's getting that ready for me. He does all the dirt work for me sometimes, don't you? Yeah. Hey, look at that ghetto fired fan right there, y'all. You can tell we from the south, can't you? <laughs> I had to put that joker right there because it's hot out here on this cat picking in. Get a little airflow. All right. Let's take this off here. I'm just going to hike it up like that right there. All right. You can tell this amp does got some age to it. If you'd have seen the way it looked beforehand, you would uh, notice it looks 10 times better now. I made sure I clean this board with acetone real good. Okay. We'll drop the Toshibas in there. Right, there's the variable voltage uh, regulator for the fan. This right here, all this is right here is acting as a heat sink because the way this 317 is done, I couldn't use the case or anything like that as a heat sink because I think that's actually on the voltage out. So that's actually got voltage on it. So it has to be an individual heat sink. So the other thing I can see I might do before I send that to him is take this two watt hundred and put a five watt on there for him. But other than that, there you go. There she be. Hope you enjoy, my friend. Hope it gives you many more uh, years, possibly, of uh, usage. Y'all have a good one. Like I always say, I'm nowhere near the best. I'm just trying to hang with the rest. Mr. Gatekeeper, Northeast Georgia. I'm good, and I'm gone. God bless.